good morning this video is on how to calculate matrix inverse suppose a is a matrix and its inverse is written as a to the power minus 1 so a inverse is equal to adjoint of a divided by determinant determinant value of a and that is equal to that is adjoint of a is nothing but transpose matrix of the cofactor matrix of a so what is the transpose of cofactor matrix so this can be written as this cofactor matrix as a mat is a matrix where we have written one dash. So this is a uh, this is the indication of transpose of a matrix. So that is, that is why a inverse is equal to co transpose of cofactor matrix divided by determinant value of a. Now let us take the matrix A has the elements 1, 0, 3, 2, minus 4, 0, 0, 1, minus 1. Now here we have to calculate A inverse. So A inverse will be equal to cofactor transpose of cofactor matrix divided by determinant value. Let us put the let us put the uh, elements as a determinant here. Well, yes, we have put it the elements of matrix A as a determinant. Well, now we'll put the cofactor elements of cofactor matrix. So cofactor of is of this first element that is element of first row and first column and that can be obtained by cancelling the first row and first column because this is the first element of matrix A after cancellation we get this portion well here put it yes next is cofactor of minus 2 that is the element of first row second column so after cancelling these two we get here was this so this is where cofactor of this is this cofactor of this cancel so this cofactor of this minus 4 this this cofactor of 1 This is cofactor of this here. And last, that is the third row, third column, that is minus one, cofactor of minus one is this. Well, now here. We have put sign plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus because in the cofactor we have to multiply minus one to the power num number of column 
or number of rows where the element is. See here minus 1 power will be 1 is in first column that is 1 and in first column that is 1 plus 1. So minus 1 to the power 2 will be the plus 1. So that is why it is plus. Here this minus because minus 1 to the power 2 is in second first row 1 and in second close so 1 plus 3 so minus 1 power 3 is minus 1 so that is why it is minus 1 again this is plus because this 0 is in first row in third column first row third column 1 3 4 so minus 1 to the power 4 is plus 1 so that is why it is plus 1 this is where it will be minus, this will be plus, this will be minus, this will be plus, this will be minus, and this will be. So this is the cofactor matrix. Now we'll calculate their values and determinant values also. Well, let us first calculate the determinant value. So how to calculate? So this is the first element of this first row and first column right here. And cancel this row and this column. So multiply remaining parts, cross multiply of remaining parts that is minus 4 into minus 1 is 4 minus 0 into 1 is 0 close minus by formula. So second first row second column this 2 here right cancel this first row second column then remaining we have 0 3 1 minus 1 so cross multiply it 0 into minus 1 is 0 minus 1 3 into 1 is 3 close plus 0 that is this first row third column 0 1 cancel first row third column so remaining parts we have to give it a cross multiply 0 into 0 is 0 minus 3 into minus 4 is minus 12 so minus minus is plus 12 so this is how we have to uh, this is how we calculate the determinant value well now calculate it that is cross multiply it minus 4 into minus 1 is 4 minus 0 into 1 is 0 0 first part it says next minus 0 into minus 1 is 0 minus 3 into 1 is 3 close next 0 into 0 is 0 3 into minus 4 is minus 12 so minus minus plus 12 minus 1 into minus 1 sorry 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 minus 0 into 0 is 0 close here 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 minus 3 into 0 is 0 so 0 here minus 1 into 0 is 0 minus 2 into 3, 3 into 2 is 6, so 6. 2 into 1 is 2 minus 0, minus 4 into 0 is minus 0, ultimately so plus 0, so 0. Minus 1 into 1 is 1, minus 0 into 0 is 0. 
1 into minus 4 is minus 4 minus 0 into 2 is 0. Bus. Now, this portion is 0, 4 minus 0 is 4 multiplied by 1 is 4. Here, minus 2 multiplied by minus 3 is plus 6. Here, 0 plus 12 is 12 multiplied by 0 is 0 plus 0. Done. Now, 4 minus 0 is 4 minus 0 minus 3 is minus 3 into minus so plus 3. So that is 0 plus 12 is 12. Here minus 2 minus 0 is minus 2 multiplied by minus sign again plus 2. Here minus 1 minus 0 is uh, yes 0 is minus 1. Here 0 minus 6 is minus 6 multiplied by minus sign so it is plus 6. 2 plus 0 is 2. 1 minus 0 is 1 multiplied by negative sign. That is 1. Minus 1. Here minus 4 mi minus 0 is minus 4. Well, so this is the cofactor matrix. And we transpose it. How to transpose? Thus, we intersense these rows into columns okay so this first row becomes first column second row becomes second column third row becomes third column well so the transpose is done so that's why we need not to write this this so this is the adjoint transpose of cofactor matrix this is the adjoint and the determinant value is 4 plus 6 plus 0 is 10. Well, so A inverse is equal to, so this is adjoint matrix divided by 10. Now we, multi, we divide all these elements by this 10. So the, as a result we get, first is 4 divided by 10 is 0.4. 3 divided by 10 is 0 0.3 12 divided by 10 is 1.2 2 divided by 10 is 0 0.2 minus 1 divided by 10 is minus 0 0.1 6 divided by 10 is 0 0.6 2 divided by 10 is 0 0.2 minus 1 divided by 10 is minus 0 0.1 minus 4 divided by 10 is minus 0 0.4 so there a inverse or inverse of the matrix is this so this is how we can calculate the matrix inversion or we can take calculate the matrix inverse Thank you.